show us a really good recipe that she's been making. I think mm -hmm. she just kind of made it up. Yeah, it was started out, it started out as corn dip from a little man at our church yeah. and he's gone on to heaven. And I took it, I, I loved it so much that I uh, asked him as far as recipe and, and wrote it out and, and then I did my own thing with it. And I, I, mean, I named it Texas Shotgun Corn. Cause it's spicy. Yeah. If you like spicy. Oh, I forgot one of my ingredients, but that's all right. We got this here. Well, yeah, we, we also, uh, if you don't like spicy, you could not make it not spicy yeah. and it would still be delicious. Mm -hmm. So, but, uh, this wasn't spicy like this. But hers is not a dip. No. She's made, if she went from a dip to now a side. Yes. And we had it, uh, was it Saturday? Mm -hmm. Saturday, uh, Chris did a turkey, uh, spoke to turkey, and she brought this over. Oh, it was so good. And I mentioned it to some of y'all on the channel on our Happy Sunday. And y'all said, please have Granny come make this recipe. So yeah, it's something you is. can make in about five minutes. Well, we like that kind. Yes. So what do you need? So we're going to start out. We're gonna, these are from her garden. Yeah, we've got, uh, let, let's move you down so you can see the ingredients. We've got uh, some peppers. I know the lighting is really bright, but. I usually use we, dehydrated. Uh, uh, three jalapenos here. I use uh, freeze dried jalapenos mm -hmm. from Germany. Okay. But you can get it at the store. They're very, very good. Might be easier but for I forgot people. to bring them. Yeah, it and might so, be easier for people to yeah, have these. Yeah. What else do you need? Um, I, I like to use the Libby's whole cornel sweet corn sweet. I've made it both ways, and this is better mm -hmm. than regular. And it's U.S. grown, non-GMO. Okay. You don't want anything else but that. And two cans? Two cans are okay. a big one. You get the big can. They didn't have big cans, so I just got two of them. And then this is a crushed red pepper. Mm -hmm. Like you use on your pizza. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. And those red flakes are so pretty on it. And this is something called Everything Bagel. It is a wonderful thing to put on a lot of stuff. Oh, yeah. It, we've used it on lots of stuff. So it's got all kinds of good stuff in it. And then um, minced garlic. The I like the one from Adams because I know how, what it's been fertilized with. It's it's clean and uh, it's dehydrated. Mm -hmm. So and then uh, you know I may use one and a half of these. Oh wow! I like it creamy. Yeah, I don't like so it. So cream cheese. Okay. Yeah. So that's all the ingredients. And yeah, we're not going to use all the juice out of this corn, but I'll just pour it in a little uh, cup and we can put it in the freezer for soup later. Oh, okay. Yeah, you don't want to throw it away. So we're going to we're going to go ahead and mince these up. You can start mm -hmm. doing that. Okay. Or you want me to do it since they're spicy? Oh. Okay. She's going to do that and we'll be right back. Okay, Granny, what do we do now? We okay. got those diced this, up. We're going to be done in five minutes, I guarantee you. <laughs> okay, so first of all, we're going to pour the juice in here. Okay, drain both both I hands. Just, or? I just have it opened a little bit. Yeah. Uh -huh. And then we're going to just, I'll show you. So I pretty well drained it. It don't have to be all drained, but pretty much drain it. Mm -hmm. Sorry about this glare, y'all. There's just nothing I can do about it. Okay, so now we're going to put a little bit of this juice in the bottom of this pan. Mm -hmm. And we're going to turn this on. And see, we, we diced up some fresh peppers, red. The, these are jalapenos. We're home, so we can just use our fingers. That's right. This is home. We're not no cooking show that's no, fake. we're not going to be giving anybody any of this. <laughs> okay, so we got it on high. It actually could have a few more, but that's at least pretty hot. They're warm. Yeah, we don't want. Yeah, more they're than that. they're pretty warm. Mm -hmm. You know, some you can use a whole bunch of this. Not even hot at all. Yeah, I guess if you if you wanted the color but you didn't want the spice, I guess you could use bell pepper. Now you're going to use. Uh, uh, you know how much I used in here was like 
two tablespoons, that, that re little man's recipe said two tablespoons from each can. Okay. So um, this is how much I have in here. You see? Yeah. So I'm getting it hot. Just just to heat it up enough to where they're not so crispy. Mm -hmm. They'll be more tender. And uh, we'll, we'll wait for that to happen. Okay, we'll be right back. Okay, while that's doing that, cooking, she's going to just dice up these um, blitz block of Philadelphia cream cheese. Mm -hmm. And we put uh, the extra corn juice. Yeah. This is real good corn here. It's sweet corn. That means it, they grew it that way. It, it, they didn't add sugar to it. Mm -hmm. But, uh, or they might have. I don't know. I'm not going to look. But anyway, uh, this is for her soup that she's going to make. I'm going to be canning some soup. Mm -hmm. and it, yeah. So we don't want to throw that away. So you think you use about a. Probably half of this one. Okay. So she's mm -hmm. going to. She's gonna cube up, um, cube up one and a half of those. Yes, yeah, because I like it real creamy. Yeah, this is so easy. The only reason <coughs> those peppers are making me cough. I wonder why it's not making me cough. Hmm. It usually does. Okay, so it's, it's probably done enough to tender it up some. Mm -hmm. We're just gonna. It's probably been about maybe three, four minutes. Let me just make sure that. Oh. We don't have too much juice. You can always add juice, but you can't take it out too well <laughs> once you add it. So we're going to add all this corn. We're doing this to heat it up so we, it'll melt the cheese. And her little ponytail cute. <laughs> they so cute. I'm so glad I finally can have a little ponytail. <laughs> okay, so... Sure one of these was a uh, a pull top, and the other one we had to use a can. can opener. I wish they just did everything like that. Mm -hmm. Oh, this corn is so much better than just regular corn. Yeah, that's what we grew was sweet corn. Mm -hmm. Candy it. corn, I think it was what it was called. So what we're doing here is we're just heating it up. Mm -hmm. Just heating it up. Mm -hmm. I think I'll add a little bit more juice to it. You can have it cold. You can have it right off the stove, warm. I just put a little bit in there so it won't be dry. And you can, you know, add more if you like. Okay. And when this, it's on high, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Good. See how pretty it is with mm -hmm. the green and everything okay um, we can go ahead and add this other stuff too okay actually i don't i think I'll, what i'll do is i'll add the spices right now okay so i'm going to put some uh, minced garlic in here and she don't measure so no. she just estimates i'm actually going to use the side that you know don't lim limit you too much and uh, just kind of sprinkle it on she loves garlic, oh. so she might use a little more than what I you would love be. Garlic. Yeah, I think I might need a little bit more. I think you probably have enough. You <laughs> That's a lot. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, oh. and then we want some of this. I just bought this to make some, and I didn't know I was going to be doing this <coughs> recipe for y'all. Mm. But. Uh, Texas shotgun corn. That sounds good. Because mm -hmm. I'm proud of my state. Yeah. I love Texas. Yeah. And I want to name everything Texas. <laughs> <laughs> we ought to name the dog Texas. Okay, so see we got... Uh-huh. Uh, I went out and bought some more, even though I really didn't need it, because I wanted to get these red flakes in it. Yeah. They make it pretty. And you can use less or more. So mm -hmm. whatever you see... And Cash is just and excited gurneys Okay, here. it's kind of bubbly now. Mm -hmm. You need your spoon again? Yeah, where'd I put it? Okay, so. Mm -hmm. I think it's getting hot. We'll leave it going now. And now we'll go ahead and add, yeah, the spoon's hot. You still have one more spice. Yeah. There goes one whole block. Yep, that's a whole eight ounces. I think we'll go ahead and turn it off now. All the way? Yeah. 
Oh, wow. Yeah, you, we're done, man. We're done. Now, this everything bagel. I just took the lid off. And okay. This is good. You, yeah. Oh, this is so, so good. So. I would say she probably put about probably a teaspoon. Need a little extra here. We always need a little extra. A heaping two teaspoon is what I would say. Okay. On that. And then we're going to take. For those of you that like measurements. We're going to take this. The other half. Half of it. Mm hmm Dump it in. Stir it. You can put more or less if you want, but I, so it's starting to just melt it, melt down into that corn. You just put a lid on it and kind of let it go or no, just I keep just, stirring it? Okay. I'm, I'm usually in a hurry needing to get out to the car with it. So she I'm, takes this to church a lot for a. Oh, every time I take it, I have people wanting recipes. <laughs> Every time. And I give the credit to that sweet little man named Bill. That it used to be a dip. Bill Gant was his name. Was his a hot dip or a cold dip? His was called corn dip. So it But was, was it a but was it warmer or was it chilled? I don't know. You don't remember? I think it was kinda like room temperature. Uh huh. And uh you see how it's yeah. it's all melting down now? Yeah. You can use it for a side dish. You can use it for, you know, if you wanted to, you might even want to do one can cream style. Yeah. You know, if you wanted to do it more creamy for a dip. Chips. Oh, y'all, it, I couldn't believe how good it was. <laughs> Everybody in the family liked it. Yes. Yeah, she left the leftovers here, and Christopher came over and finished it off. So, there we go. How long do you think that took? Oh, it didn't take very long did at it all. Take five minutes. Well, we've been videoing longer than mm -hmm. that, but we, you know, did other things. Mm -hmm. Is it ready to taste? It is. Oh well, let's taste it. Okay, okay we're gonna taste it. Mm -hmm. It's still smoking. Ooh, yeah. See how fast it is? It's smoking easy. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's spicy. Mm -hmm. She likes to use spice. It is good. Yeah. Those jalapenos were, they had their heat. You think I used too many? No. <laughs> well, not for your family. Not for our family, but for some of y'all. I gotta get my drink. Mmm. And after, when we were getting our deal, she put a little bit more flakes in there. Up my toe. Oh, but it's good. Mm -mm -mm. Well, yeah. I can't tell you how good that is. And I think it would be a wonderful dip. But I would use cream style. Mm -hmm. And um, you would have a warm dip. Mm -hmm. Even add a little bit of Parmesan in there. Mm -hmm. Oh, you could, it's endless. Yeah. How about smoked paprika? Oh, that would be good, too. I thought about bringing that. Yep. So that is her famous corn. Texas shotgun corn. Yep. Double barrel. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We hope y'all try this recipe. And uh, if you do, you will love it. And if you take it to a, a gathering, they will ask you for the recipe. Yeah. They will. Because everybody asks her. I think I stuck my toe in that pepper. Mm-hmm. Well, it's not for our family, maybe for you, but it is, it is so good. All right, y'all. What did you think you used? About a tablespoon? Maybe oh, at you, least. You probably should have used more like a, uh, a well, maybe two tablespoons, maybe. No, because it's I, I not. I don't think you ought to do more, less than one tablespoon. <laughs> I don't know. I, if you're, if you're pr bringing this for a crowd that yeah, where people aren't going to want to just really burn up, yeah. then I would probably use a teaspoon. Mm -hmm. And you can always add more, you know, taste it, and then you mm -hmm. can always add a little you bit. Do you think it needs some salt? No, it don't need anything. Okay. Everything's wonderful. We hope you've enjoyed this recipe. If you have, give us a thumbs up, and we'll see you next time. Until then, keep looking east. Keep looking to the east. Bye.